So the, the initial thought was, you know, after he kind of described to me what it was, I was like, all right, well, you know, how do we fix it? And he was like, you don't. He said, there's not really a, med this is a neurological condition, which means that conductivity or the message from the brain to that side of your voice box is interrupted. It's decreased. So the left side doesn't respond the same as the right. And in music, the symmetry of them coming together is everything. Um, so um, he said the only way that you would be able to recover from this and the way people recover is voice training. And you have to try and teach it to do the right thing. And by this point, I'm almost a couple years into this problem. And probably the worst part about the condition is the overcompensating for the weakness and you develop so many bad habits because you're trying to overcome it the wrong way. And I think there's something like 140 different muscle groups right in your throat that form the vowels and the pitches and if they're not all firing exactly right, mm -hmm. you get problems. So th this kind of sets the, the, the you going in a wrong direction, and then you just, it's, it com, uh, the compensation for it develops so many other issues that you can't, um, you can't even begin to untie the knots, you know? So that started a whole string of, um, well, b before I even got into the therapy of trying to fix it, he had to confirm it because there, there was, a, you know, a, a number of things can cause this problem. The scariest one being a, a tumor that could be pressing on a nerve. So I had to go have an MRI. So there was about a week where I was sweating that out. <laughs> you know, that, so it wasn't that. And the other cause can be um, a virus, like a cold virus. If it settles into a nerve, it can deteriorate it. Um, and there were a couple other things that caused it too that I can't really remember right now. I know um, that some people get this after they have a surgery, something to do with the breathing tube that goes down your throat can somehow damage the cord. Um, I don't know, I had had a surgery, um, I hadn't had a surgery, so I don't think that was it, but I know other people have had cords damaged from that, and, and for some reason it causes a neurological condition where it gets lame or partially paralyzed. So uh, they, they attributed mine probably to a, a bad, flu or cold virus that had settled into the cord and damaged it. 